Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to create a task flow in Dynamics 365. Right? If you go to the home page, uh, you can see that there is a task flow icon at the top right corner. And in this icon, if you click that, you will find there are some already available task flows uh, you can see. And once you uh, open any task flow, then it is asking to, let's say I have opened update contact uh, task flow. And if you select a contact, then you can click next. Then you can edit basic informations then communication information personal information so these are the sections that we have already defined in the task flow in the design time so if you want to update anything you can just uh, give some data then it can be updated so once you click next done then the contact that you have selected is updated right so this is the job of uh, task flows right so today we will discuss how to create a task flow from scratch okay and that task flow should be displayed here as per my requirement so for that what we have to do we have to go to advanced settings and once you open advanced settings you have to go to processes and you have to click on new processes right so once you click new process it will ask to give a name of the process let me give a name of the process edge update account okay and you can choose category as business process flow and select run process as a task flow which is applicable for a unified interface only and if you click this first one run process as a business process flow classic so it is different not task flow so click on this second option and choose the entity as account because i want to update account record so click on ok as soon as we click ok it will display the task flow designer and first of all we have to click on the first page which is the default page it is shown here i can give a name here i can give a name of the page so the task flow consists of multiple pages and one page cons consists of multiple components okay now let me give a name that first page and i just applied it and i have just uh, expanded this details of this account page here the elements you can drag from here right if you want con if you want to add some conditions you can add it otherwise you can drag and drop fields levels section levels and all that right so i want to give a section here okay and uh, in this level it should say uh, basic the level should say basic informations basic account info and i'll just apply it and inside this level i want to uh, define a field which will interpret my account name and click on apply and I want to add another field here below the field account name so I can select I can select email address right so in the first page I want to capture account name and email email address then I'll just click on apply now I can drag another page here drag and drop and in the second page I can give uh, the name edge second page click on apply unless you apply it will not work so we have to drag the if you want to add condition you can drag and drop here so it will give you a flexibility to branch your task tax flow but uh, if you don't want then you can just uh, keep adding your fields whatever you want to display on the task flow the first field i want to display is account then the second is uh, address phone
I want to take the phone number that is main phone I think yes apply that's it I, I just want to create a task flow for editing the email ID and main phone that's all I will just tilt this Now it is asking to confirm deletion and I can so I have once I have applied I will just validate this once the validation is successful I will just save it and as soon as you save it it is allowed to uh, activate the task flow until unless it is activated you cannot work on the workflow so let's activate this So it will take some couple of seconds yeah once it is activated now i'll go to the user screen home screen and try to refresh the whole home page of dynamics and i'm expecting to see the task flow that i have just created in the list out in our top bar if i'll click this task bar task flow button or icon i'm expecting to see that option let's click this Now do a complete refresh. Now it is showing activated update account, right? So I am expecting to see here. So this is the update account. So I have not updated the uh, description. That's why it is not displaying here. We can also update that. Now let's run it, okay? Once I click that, it will ask me to choose the record for which I want to trigger this task flow. First, it is asking select a record to start. So you can just choose, a, uh, choose an account, then click next. Once you click next, the page level is displaying as a basic info and uh, you can give here the email id and once you click next it is asking also to provide the main phone then once you click done then this will be updated right the uh, informations like main phone and uh, email is updated now i will go to the accounts and open that account to check if the data is updated correctly or not let me open this so this is my account and i want to see the email id and the phone yes the email id is updated the phone number is updated and if i'll go down okay the phone number is updated and the email id is also updated the email id is not displaying here anyway if it is not displaying we can drag that uh, email field on the form not an issue but as you can see the phone number is updated so this is how we can create processes uh, for different uh, you know different uh, business uh, needs and this is the update account that we have created now so thank you for watching this video i will uh, tell you about different customizations in our next video